So you probably clicked on this video because you're trying to figure out where in Des Moines do you want to live? Where do you want to buy a house? In this video, we're going to cover Urbandale, everything you need to know. We got to a neighborhood uh, here in Urbandale and it's North View Park. And the thing about this neighborhood is it's one of the more established ones in Urbandale. You can tell we're using a microphone because it sounds good and there's a shadow. Right. So this is one that is on the, it's on the inner side of, of I-35 and I-80. In this type of older neighborhood, it's going to be a price point, you're gonna have a price point of probably 280 up to up to 400 as for some of the bigger houses. You're probably, you're not gonna find too many, you know, small bungalows in these neighborhoods. They're gonna be some larger, mostly two stories, some larger ranches, finished basements. Um, and that, I mean, that's it's just what you're gonna get in this neighborhood. What is that gonna get you for updates and finishes? Is everything gonna be updated? Is everything gonna be, um, you know, lived in pretty well over the last say 10, 20 years. Yeah, most of these houses is, I mean, they've been lived in for at least 30 years. I think, I don't think there's any new builds in this in this specific neighborhood for sure. The finishes, it totally depends on the house. The lower end is gonna be your, what we've talked about in previous videos, is just your old person type house. Right. My aunt, um, man, she's what, 60 years old? And she, she, I mean, she went to Urbandale and knows everything about the town and like, it's just, like it's it's a very established area and neighborhood, but most of the time it's gonna be dated unless it's been sold in the last probably five years already. Cool. And then that person probably updated it. And no matter where you are in the Des Moines Metro, whether this is uh, currently we're filming in Clive. We're filming in Urbandale. Heyo. One of the reasons that a buyer would wanna look um, in an area similar to this, uh, established trees, a little bit more of an established neighborhood, a lot of the houses may not have the, the newer finishes that obviously a new construction home would have, but you're gonna have the space, you may have a bigger yard, um, but one of the, the nice things about this area out in Urbandale, 86 is a, a pretty major street. It's nice to be close to interstate access, uh, restaurants, you can move around pretty easy in an area like this. In Urbandale, uh, the amenities are something that um, a lot of people move to either if it's not Urbandale, it's one of the, the cities surrounding Urbandale. Um, and the reason being is you really have everything that you need within that community. And it's on a very nice scale. It's on the higher end scale. A couple of the amenities that I would like to mention, Lifetime Fitness, uh, we're members there, which it's expensive. It's almost like a, a fitness mall of things to do throughout the winter, throughout the throughout the summer. And then the other thing would be Living History Farms. Um, and that's something that we take our kids to a couple times a year and it's just, uh, and they do little houses, little villages, and people don't actually live there. It's kind of like a historical play, if yeah. you will. But it's, it's just really cool for the kids to see what, you know, what life used to be like. If you look at Urbandale from sort of that aerial map, right, looking down, one of the things you'll notice is you're surrounded right around obviously Grimes, Johnston, uh, West Des Moines. But the big thing that's happened in the last say three to five years is the expansion west that Urbandale has gone. And the farther out that you get west, you're gonna get into some of that new construction, uh, you know, brand new developments. And when you get into more of the east side of uh, Interstate 80, you can still get into some of that older, what would you say, anywhere from, you know, 180 to 230 yep. type of a yep. price point now. Yep. Yep. And right off of, I'd say like airline and 71st, 70th street. So look at it. that on a map. And those are the houses. I mean, you're gonna, you know, once one, you, I think you could get some two beds for 160 ish. If you want that Urbandale school district, then you can get a lower priced house that might not be as big, might not be as fancy, might not have the big yard or the established neighborhood, um, but that, that would fit that budget. So one of the things as we're driving from one neighborhood to the other neighborhood in your northwest side of Urbanale, Johnston, that area, is there is so much undeveloped land, it is unreal. There's a lot of business industrial parks. Those are everywhere. Des Moines doesn't have any geographical barriers. There's no lake that we are hitting on, there's no mountains, there's no sea. So we, as a, as a metro, are going to just continue expanding out. Most of these areas are being developed at such a fast rate, and I hear from people all the time that they are surprised when you start driving around how much is being built, how much new construction is going on, and I can't imagine that any of this will stop in the next 10 years. So we have ventured 
to the furthest northwest of Urbandale that you're going to find. And in that little pocket is a kind of new development area. And so you're going to get most of the houses built after 2010. And a lot of these houses uh, are custom. So we're looking at houses out here anywhere from 400 all the way up to about seven. You can pick the lot, you can pick the builder. Um, it's a little bit more custom. There are certain covenants on how you can actually build the, the physical design and look of the home. So it has to fall into a few different uh, rules with that, but you're a little bit more open than you are um, with certain other uh, new construction developments. Right, so one of the bad things, I, I'm just gonna go out and say it about this neighborhood, yeah. is it's a long ways to the Northwest. It is. To get to downtown Des Moines from here or to get over there into the central part of the city, like you have a good 25 to 30 minute drive. And we can go into other neighborhoods where you could get new builds and be closer to downtown. One one video we've already done on this channel is Norwalk. I would say new builds uh, in Norwalk, you're probably gonna be a little bit closer to downtown just due to how uh, the highways work and the straight shot. But obviously that's a different school district, different area, so whatever vibe you're feeling. So if you think, if, if there's somewhere that you are thinking about moving to, reach out to us. We'll either do a video on it or we'll just live stream with you sometime and like give you an idea of what the neighborhood looks like you know are there sidewalks are there not sidewalks are there good parks are there bike trails like what matters to you that's i mean that's why we're putting this channel together 